Hi, this is Corrine for Cut at Home Design Team, and today we are making a beautiful handmade card. We are using the Heartfelt Creations Birds and Blooms Collage. This is a new stamp set out, and this is a beautiful large stamp set. It's approximately four and a quarter by five and a quarter, so it's perfect for your card friends. This is a cling rubber stamp, and I will be using it on a Fiskars stamp press, but if you don't have an acrylic block, you can actually just stamp it without it, and it still gives you a beautiful image. This is the first time that I'm using this stamp, so I wanted to stamp it off on some scrap paper. And I use some Memento London Fog to stamp it out, but I decided for my card I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to use a black ink. I decided on VersaFine black ink, and I will also be heat embossing it as well with some clear embossing powder. So I'm just inking up my stamp very well. I want to make sure that I have good coverage, and I am stamping it out onto some Ranger watercolor paper. I'm really pressing down to make sure that I covered all of it. And now I'm adding my clear embossing powder. And I, like I said, I will heat set it. I will make sure to heat my gun up first before taking it to my paper, just to eliminate some of the warping. I clean my stamps off with some alcohol-free baby wipes. Now I'm using some Broken China Distress Ink and I'm adding a little to an acrylic block. And I'm taking a fairly large paintbrush and wetting my entire surface first. And then I'm picking up some of the ink and adding it to the background of my image. I just wanted to give it a very light pale blue. And I was really happy with the results. It's very pale, but um, it gives it just a little bit of a background. So I wanna heat set that now before continuing to work on it. I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz Distress Markers. These have quickly become a favorite of mine. Um, I'm just testing out several colors and I will list them all on Cut at Home's blog if you'd like to see which colors that I used. And I will go ahead and color in my image. So now I'm using my Wink of Stella clear br brush glitter pen and adding a little bit of shimmer to that butterfly. It gives it just a little bit of shimmer. And now using my Fiskars paper trimmer, I'm cutting out my image to add to the front of my card. 
I'm cutting my card base to 11 by 5 and a quarter, and I will use my stylus from the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit to score my cardstock in half at five and a half. Here's some My Mind's Eye, I believe, um, Harvest from the Harvest Collection paper. And this purple just looked beautiful as a base for my card. So I will use some Angel Craft tape. I'm using the one quarter inch and I will adhere my cardstock to my card base. I will also have all of the measurements on the Cut at Home blog as well. I just decided to add a little bit of lace to the right side of my image there, and I will just use, again, some Angel Craft tape to adhere that down. It was after adhering that that I had decided I wanted to edge my image with a little bit more distressing just to finish off the edges. So I used some dusty Concord and I should have done that before adding my lace, but I didn't think of it at the time, but it still turned out nice. I just bent the lace backwards so I could edge that side of the card as well. I do finish the inside of my card with another matching purple cardstock mat along with a white mat so I could write my sentiment on it. And here I'm just adding some beautiful flowers and leaves to finish up my card. So that's all there was to it. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have all the products listed along with all the dimensions of the card and colors used for the distress markers. Thanks so much for watching.